Pastor Charles O'Queer is the head of Victory Outreach Ministries, a ministry that is rebuilding communities through agriculture and clean water. And they are one of Crossroads' vital partners on the ground in northern Uganda. And beside him is our missions director, David Shelley. Welcome, gentlemen, to the Full Circle <laughs> Couch. This you. is so full. You know that, I like, know. Denise and I are, like, yeah. arm Very in arm here. Circle. Well, and I was trying to explain to Pastor Charles about Full Circle, and that it's a little bit different than what we've been seeing this week on the mission set, that, you know, this is on the couch, you're with a lot of women, and we like to talk and it's share our hearts. Man. Yeah. 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 That's right. The principal's Dave office. Always, <laughs> he's always shaking the morning before. He's just like, oh, here we go. So you think you'd be used to it by now? No, not yet. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah. well, Pastor Charles, you are from northern Uganda, and I have to be honest, northern Uganda is not a place that I'm very familiar with. Uh, tell us a little bit about that part of the world. Actually, we want to praise God because he has given us and he has put, allowed us to be in the northern part of Uganda. Actually, to begin with, it is a very lush region whereby everything is green and food and everything. If it was not because of the atrocity, the wars that has destabilized us for the last 20 years plus, that would be one of the, actually would be Eden. That Eden, Eden, like Eden the, garden, the Eden. garden of Eden, so lush and everything is so beautiful. But when we were conditioned into camps, then we lost everything. People lived and were subjected to a, a life that no one would want to choose to live in. Mm -hmm. But we we really very grateful S since we got into, in touch with Crossroads, life is being restored. Did we say about six years ago, Pastor Charles? Oh yes, that's six We've years ago. We've had this ago. relationship yes. yeah. together. And yep. we, we are really grateful of what God is doing. People who have lost hope are now beginning to say, yes, mm. yes, we are coming back. So why have they lost hope? I, I want to just be, be clear. You said there's wars, there yeah. is, what, what happened? I mean, when there is war, you, you don't know whether you will live the next day. Mm -hmm. And uh, children suffer, women suffer. Actually, up to now, some of them have lost their husband in war. I mean, uh, some have lost the whole family. I mean, so, so, so there was no hope. But when things subsided and now we have peace, coming back and it has come back, we have now gone back to agriculture, which is the backbone of people in the north. Mm -hmm. The entire Uganda, but northern. Well, you also have to imagine, too, when he's talking about camps. I mean, I had a chance to visit these camps, Dave. Mm -hmm. You've also gone to these camps. Mm -hmm. These are really horrendous places. And you have to imagine, like, what would happen if your community um, if, if they just wanted to shut down Burlington and say, everybody go into this one area, we're going to have camps, a, a temporary site available for you. Mm -hmm. Imagine then that you had to live there for 20 years and you haven't been home for 20 years. You have, you have no access to your own garden, to food, anything. You have absolutely nothing. So it's no, no wonder then that in these camps, the, the whole social structure has been broken down. It's abject poverty. I mean, this is really, for me, I think that was the shocking thing to walk in these camps knowing they've been there for so long. People are still stuck there. Right. And it's, there is no infrastructure to really support life there. Uh, or, or education. And people want to get out. Mm -hmm. I mean, and many of them have come out, but they've come back to nothing. Mm -hmm. They have no resources. They have no money. So, I mean, us trying to help them plow their gardens, give them seeds, give them tools, mm -hmm. give them food security. I mean, it's so critical. And, and all of a sudden, life changes. When you all of a sudden know that, hey, I've got food for the next few months, and I can sell the excess, and I can send my children to school, I mean, life takes on a whole new meaning. It's, it's rebuilding that society it's that's that been lost. Hope, right? It's, yeah. it's hope that's missing. And I think, too, when all of your efforts and resources are just thinking about your next meal, mm -hmm. nothing else can happen, yeah. right, in your life. You can't think about anything else except food. Mm. Right. So what changes when, Charles, you've seen this, what changes when they, when they start knowing, okay, now my food's taken care of? What, what happens? What's the evolution? You, people began to build on what was not there. They really clean their place and they began to put in structures. I mean, they began to have food in the, some of them would have much that they don't even have where to put it. So they would put their food inside and they would stay outside, sleep outside. I mean, uh, and, and they were now able to sell part of it and get money 
and they are able to put their children to, to, through school and they were able now to begin to dress properly. I mean, hope is being restored and, and dignity. And mm. dignity. That's what I was thinking. Absolutely. Now you can see people rejoicing and you now know mm. there is an answer.